Also, I'm going to share with you all something that I personally do with my credit cards. Um, so, or I suppose just with my budget in general, you know, the, the credit cards go into my budget, but it's, you know, we have to pay those. Yeah. So what I do is I keep track of everything that I have to pay for in my digital notebook or digital planner. Um, so it's like I spread out everything. I have my income, have everything I have to pay. I have my credit cards on this side, the balance. And then once I pay it, what that balance will go down to. That's just something that I like to see because I mean, yeah, I can look on the credit card app and just see it there anytime, but I don't know. It's just something about it that makes me feel a little bit better than that if I just have everything all in one place. So I like to use um, a digital notebook to keep track of things like that. Um, actually, I have some that I sell online. Um, I'll put the description below in the, not the description, I'll put the link in the description below if you want to see what I use. Um, it's a notebook that I created myself. So click that and get your budget and your finances together. So we back. Welcome back to another video, another video, yes, about credit. And so if you saw my previous video, you know it was all about good credit, how to get good credit, how to keep a high credit score. So that's something that would be a prerequisite. I said prereq. That would be a prerequisite to this video. This is a part two. So once you have your good credit, when you have your good credit, because you will, if you don't currently have good credit, you will have good credit, okay? It's okay. <laughs> um, when you do, then you can start to see all of the benefits um, that comes with good credit. There's so many more things you would be able to do, um, which includes save, save, saving money, which includes saving money, which includes saving money. Say it with me, what are we gonna be saving? Money. Uh-huh. <laughs> so, um, so when you have good credit, you are now able to have low interest rates. Having like 20% interest rate, wait, what's wrong? What's wrong with ours? Interest rate. Um, 16% interest rate, 15% interest rate. They playing you, man. When you have good credit, no, you can get like lower than that in the single digits, okay? The single digits. Um, so, for example, um, let's say you need a car and you go to the dealer or whatever, or the bank and try to get this loan or try to get this car. If you have bad credit, a car that may cost you like 300 a month, if you have bad credit, that same car, the same exact car, will have you paying like 500, 600, 700, depending on your bad credit score. But we have good credit score, so. It would be like 300. <laughs> Let's say I'm your friend and I am your friend and I gave you $10 and I said, I want that with interest, you know, cause this is a business transaction or something like that. Um, instead of you paying me back $10, you would probably pay me back like 12, $11. But if you have bad credit, according to these banks and people who loan money with that same ten dollars when the first person would end up repaying me back eleven and twelve dollars the person with the bad credit will end up paying fifteen dollars back sixteen dollars back that's just how it is that's just how it is that's just how it is so yes low interest rates that affects 
everything that affects your car payments um if you're trying to get a house how much your monthly payments on your house would be um oh my gosh your good credit it even affects um what does it affect it, it affects you living in a certain area or outside of the houses let's, let's say if you're trying to get an apartment they can approve or deny you based on your credit too or you may have to get a co-signer or something like that but if you have good credit and you have maybe renting history then you probably won't need um <laughs> co-signer also another thing that would be very beneficial for you if you had good credit would be negotiating power if you have a good credit score so like 700 and above and you see an interest rate on something and you're like hmm i don't think i really have to pay that you can go back and talk to the person or whoever is trying to loan you this thing or whatever and you can negotiate with them and say hey i deserve a lower interest rate than this you have the power to do that because of your high credit score you think they're gonna say no because you know we just don't trust you that's why we have the interest rates like this no that's the whole reason of having credit credit is to see how much you can be trusted with other people's money so yes, you do have power to negotiate things and get a lower price, get lower rates, okay? So that's that. Also, I don't know if many people know this, but your credit score can also affect you getting a job. Now, they're not they're not gonna do like a hard pull on your credit score, um, but if, it's, and it's not every company too, only, some companies but some companies they will check your credit score and if you have bad credit you know bankruptcies and all these things like that it's a good possibility that you won't be able to get that job that you're applying for because they see that this person must have a lot of issues going on in their life i don't know if i want this kind of riffraff up in here uh, I'm just playing. <clears throat> now, what I'm not saying is that if you have a good credit score, you can get jobs. I'm not exactly saying that. It still depends on your skills, knowledge, and experience and things like that. What I am saying is that some companies, not every company, but some, they will ask your permission. As far as I know, they will ask your permission. You, you should. I hope you ask my permission. <clears throat> it, they'll ask your permission to check your credit score and if they see that you have a good credit score they'll feel much better about hiring you if you're someone who has a bad credit score low credit score they may feel like oh this person must get into a lot of issues i don't really know let's see what this other person's credit score is and let's decide like that so another good benefit of having good credit score is that once you have your good credit score, you are now able to apply for more credit cards, but not just more credit cards, better quality credit cards, credit cards with higher limits, different perks and rewards and things like that. Um, but you have to be approved for those things. You have to qualify for those things. When you have good credit, you are now able to be approved. You now qualify for those things. And those can help you out in many different ways. I know there are even credit cards that help out tremendously with airplane travel. So, so that's it for this video. It was short and sweet i hope it was short and sweet for you i hope you learned a little something another new okay so yeah we all got our, our our high credit score so we can get them low interest rates we can get them low payments instead of paying ten thousand dollars we paying like what six five or something like that come on let me get high five